Hello adventurers, my name is Chance, and welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning into the third episode of our Half-Elf Subrace series. Today we're going to be going over the High Elf, or the High Half-Elf, there we go, if that makes sense, which is kind of a weird name when I think about it, and I feel like it's kind of like an inside joke, you know, the High Elves, but... Beside the point, um, the High Half-Elf was first introduced in the Sword Coast Adventures Guide and is kind of the flip side to the Drow Half-Elf in a lot of ways, which is pretty cool. Um, overall, they're okay. I haven't seen a lot of people play them, to be quite honest, although it's kind of a missed roleplay opportunity as far as I can tell, and it does make logical sense in most game worlds that high elves and humans would interact on a fairly regular basis, I'd imagine, so it is a little strange, but maybe it's because of their mechanical elements that a lot of people choose not to play them, or maybe people just don't consider them overly interesting. In any case, if you'd like to check out the full series on all of the races or just on the half-elves, please check out our full playlist by clicking on that little eye icon in the top corner there or waiting until the end of the video and clicking on the end screen. Now let's move on to the half-elves traits. As with virtually all of the half-elf variants currently out, this trait requires that you lose access to versatility, or sacrifice it in a sense, I guess. Whether or not you think it's worth it, you know, that's up to you. If you still want to keep it, but you want the flavor that comes from being a different subrace, it might be worth talking with your dungeon master about it and seeing if they can swing it that way. In terms of what the High Half-Elf gets, you can actually pick between two things. Either the High Elf Weapon Training, which gets you a proficiency with long sh swords, short swords, short bows, and long bows, or their cantrip option, which is any cantrip from the wizard spell list, and of course there's quite a few because it's the wizard, and in that case intelligence is your spellcasting ability modifier. It is a strange choice because it's not obvious to me how these traits are worth forgoing versatility, However, you know, maybe to the right build it might make sense, but I don't know, I'll leave that for you guys to talk about in the comment section. Once again, I haven't seen a lot of people play this, so I don't really know how it stacks up relative to the other sub-races in terms of actual gameplay. So, you know, it, I can't speak all that much on it. In any case, let's move on to my personal thoughts. I think that the High Half-Elf could lead to some really interesting roleplay opportunities, and with certain backgrounds, it could be really fun. However, if you're looking at raw mechanical aspects, I just feel like it's not the best sub-race. To be honest, I feel like just the Half-Elf as is is a little bit better in most scenarios. However, I mean, if you have a particular build in mind, like maybe a Legolas-type build, then... This might work, or like the child of Legolas, I guess, because he's an elf, so I don't, I don't know, however you want to make that work, but let's say you need the longbow for whatever reason, and you don't have access to it, this would be probably the easiest way of getting access to it, but I don't know, it is one of those things where it kind of comes down to personal preference. As per channel announcements, if you'd like to get a free one-shot, go over to the guild hall, select whatever one-shot you'd like, use code WELCOME, and it's yours. And we have a new project starting up where it's an interactive Dungeons & Dragons campaign told through YouTube, so if you have that itch for D&D, or you're between groups, or uh, you want to experiment, just check that out. I'll leave the link in the pinned comment below. And... Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Just be prepared for a lot more content, and yeah, happy adventuring everyone, and I hope to see you soon.